Hello everyone. Till now we have discussed about cash flow statement and we have seen the format of cash flow statement. And there we have seen that in cash flow statement we record three activities. First one is meeting, second is financing, and third one is uh, investing activity. Now we will do some questions cash flow statement. So just wait for a minute. Okay. Here you can see I have taken one case <clears throat> where we will prepare a cash statement and we will uh, understand that how uh, transactions are recorded in activities. So following is the balance sheet of Wisbon Limited as on 31st March 2012. Here you can see balance sheet of Wisbon Limited. Then you can see a uh, shareholders fund is given. Share capital is given for year 2012 is 7 lakh and here shareholder uh, is 8 lakh. So similarly, you can see reserve and surplus balance is given, then long-term borrowing is given, then trigger is given. Then in asset side, fixed asset, tangible asset is given, then inventory, trade receivable, and cash and cash equivalent is given. Then additional information is given during the year, a piece of machinery or book value of 8,000 was sold for rupees 60,000. Here company is selling their machinery of 80,000 at 65 rupees, and depreciation on tangible asset during the year is 2 lakh rupees. Right? So we have to prepare a statement. Now we have to see, we have to find out the cash uh, inflow or outflow from the given transaction. Right? So how we can find out the cash inflows and outflows from the given transaction? We will see detail right now. So the very first activity which we have to prepare is operating activity. Right? So I will write it down here, operating activity. So we will record here related to operating activity. You know, so when we, we were discussing about format, we have seen the very first, first line, uh, very first item which we will record is profit, right? We will profit before tax or we can also take profit after tax if no tax information is given, right? So here you can see nowhere we can see that profit is given or uh, tax amount is. So we will take here profit after tax. Now, is it possible to find out profit after tax from this statement? So yeah, it is very easy to find out profit after tax. How you will find out the profit after tax? Tax. If you see here, here reserve and surplus balance is given 2 lakh. Reserve and surplus balance is given 2 lakh. Uh, uh, sorry, 12, 2012 reserve and surplus balance is given 2 lakh. And here 2011 balance is given one lakh ten thousand, right? So whatever profit company earn, right? and uh, whatever remaining uh, profit company is having after payment of dividend, that profit what we transfer in retain earning or you can say balance sheet, right? So in year two thousand eleven, company has transferred or company's retain earning is how much? It is one lakh ten thousand. Now if you see their retain earning is increasing. Right? Why their retain earning is increasing? Because come transfer their profit in retain earning. So you can see there is a difference of 90,000 rupees here, right? This is going to be profit after tax, or you can say profit after payment of dividend, right? So the remaining profit is how much? It is uh, 90,000. Balance uh, amount is 90,000. This is what a profit which is on the year, right? So opening balance of reserve is given <coughs> 1 thousand. Now during the year, company has earned profit of 90,000 rupees, right? Company has earned profit of 90,000 rupees. That is the Reason closing balance of reserve and surplus is how much? Too late. So if it after tax uh, value will be how much? It will be 90,000 rupees. Profit after tax value is 90,000 rupees. Now what we have to do, we have to add or adjust non-cash and uh, non transaction. So is it possible for you to find out non-cash transaction from here? So you can see here what company is doing. Company is charging depreciation in this year. What company has done? Company has charged depreciation of a piece to in this year, this is a non-cash transaction. So what we have to do, we have to add depreciation amount. Okay. We will be adding depreciation amount and company is charging how much depreciation? They are charging two lakhs depreciation, right? So they have transferred in PNL account. They have shown a depreciation in PNL account and how they calculated this profit after adjustment of depreciation. So that is the reason we are adding back this depreciation amount. Um, if you see during the year, piece of machinery of book value 80,000 was sold for rupees. 65,000. So it shows that company has sold their machinery at a loss of 15,000 rupees. So we have seen if there is a loss, loss from sale of asset that we will be adding. Loss from sale of asset, the value will be how much? It will be 80,000 minus 65,000. So here you will be recording the difference of 15,000 in operating activity, right?
if you see no other uh, non cash transaction or such kind of transactions are available right so now we have to adjust changes in inventory we have to adjust changes in inventory in inventory now what we will do here we will add i will underline this line here we will add if there is increase in liability increase in liability or decrease in asset right? we have already seen it is current liability right? increase in current liability or decrease in current assets right? these transactions we will add so we will see which current assets are uh, in, uh, decreasing and which current liabilities are increasing so first we will see current liability here you can see so in year 2011 current liability is 25000 and in year 2012 current liability is 30000 right so when it will increase we have to compare the two year balances so we will start from 2011 right you you can't start 2012 when you will compare the balance of 2011 you have to start from 11 and you have to compare the balance of 2012 so you can see there is a increase of 5000 rupees right there is a increase of 5000 rupees so i will write paper here so here you can see trade paper balance is how much what amount it is increasing so you can see 30000 minus 5000 you will do 25000 so so here it is increasing by 5000 rupees now we have to see in any case if there is any decrease in current asset because there is only one current liability now inventories it is increasing and huh? there is no decrease so here we can adjust here you can see trade receivables are decrease so here we will write trade receivable in year 2000 Eleven, it is forty thousand, and in year twelve, it is thirty-two thousand. <coughs> Sorry, it is forty thousand and minus thirty-two thousand. So here balance is going to be eight thousand. Then if you see uh, cash and cash equivalent, we don't have to uh, provide adjustment for cash and cash equivalent. At last, we will see the adjustment of cash and cash equivalent. Now we will reduce if there is decrease in liability. and if there is increase in current assets we have seen the reason also why we add or reduce increase in of current asset so here <clears throat> current liability we have already adjusted there is increase in inventory there is increase in inventory so we will reduce this amount so inventory to reduce so here how much we have to reduce 60000 to 70000 so we have to reduce 10000 rupees we have to adjust 10000 here We are adjusting ten thousand rupees here. Now, after that, if you see, uh, we have already discussed uh, inventory. So, this item we have already discussed. These items uh, we have covered. So, if I calculate the cash flow from operating activity, cash flow from what result I will get here? Cash flow from operating activity. So, here you can see cash flow from operating activity is how much? So, ninety thousand plus two lakh. I have to use calculate. Yes, yes, okay. So it'll be ninety thousand plus two lakh plus fifteen thousand plus five thousand plus eight thousand minus ten thousand. So cash flow from operating activity is total balance is going to be three lakh eight thousand. So this balance is going to be three lakh eight thousand, which you will write down here. So you can see how much cash. Company is generated from operating activity. Now we will be discussing about here. We have discussed about operating activity. The next item which we have to discuss is flow from investing activity. Right? Investing activity. Investing activity. Right. So you can see your cash flow from investing activity. now here which transactions we will be recording if there is a purchase of asset or if there is a sale of asset or if there is a purchase of investment or sale of investment so uh, we can see here first item we can see uh, there is a sale of machinery there is a sale of machinery of a book value of rupees 80000 and we are realizing only 85 65000 so here we will first item which we will record is sale of 
asset if there is a say set so definitely there will be cash inflow so we will show positive value here now if we, there is a loss on sale loss on sale which we have adjusted here so automatically what we are doing we are giving effect of loss on sale here right the value of machinery is how much 80000 right and we are reducing only 65000 so we are adjusting loss here right we have added back here and we are reducing here the actual value is 80000 and we are writing the value only 65000 so it means we are reducing it from investing activity if you see uh, we will see tangible assets item now now there is increase in tangible asset right it means company is purchasing tangible assets right company is purchasing tangible asset so purchase purchasing tangible assets right now how you will calculate uh, that how much tangible assets company has purchased so you can say 8 lakh to 11 lakh right previously the value is 8 lakh new value is 11 lakh it means company has purchased some assets that is the reason the value of asset is increasing so you might be thinking that there is an increase of 3 lakh so that will be the purchase value no if you see here open balance of machinery is given how much opening balance of machinery is 8 lakh now if you see what company has done we will read this line again here what company is doing he is charging depreciation of 2 lakh rupees on machinery and current year company has charged depreciation of 2 lakh so the value of machine will get reduced right? so and also one line item is given what comes in company has sold asset of rupees 80,000 right company has sold asset whose book value is how much it is 80,000 so here what I will do I will less depreciation to find out the proper opening balance so here I will less sorry here I will less depreciation. So depreciation value is how much? 2 lakh. And also what company has done? Company has sold 80,000 machinery, right? This 8 lakh. So I will reduce sale of machinery whose value is how much? 80,000. So what is the net balance? What is the net balance of machinery? Net balance of machinery is how much? It is 8 lakh minus 20, uh, 2 lakh, 6 lakh, 6 lakh minus 80,000. So nets of machinery is how much? It is 5 lakh 20,000. Now, if you see here, so what is the actual balance of machinery? Or you can say opening actual balance. It is 5 lakh thousand. And at the end of year 2012, the value of machinery is how much? 11 lakh. So if I want to calculate the purchase of machinery, so what I will do, I will calculate the closing balance, closing balance of machinery. That is 11 lakh rupees and I will reduce it from net balance of machinery. We have calculated. Like, it is very easy to understand. We have not adjusted depreciation in above value. We have not adjusted sale of machinery. Right now we are adjusting to find out the purchase amount. So difference is going to be purchase amount. 11 lakh minus 5 lakh, 6 lakh. It will be 5 lakh, 80,000. So there is a total purchase of how much? You can say there is a net purchase of 5 lakh, 80,000 rupees. Like, there is a net purchase of Five lakh thousand rupees. Now there is no other transaction for investing activity, right? In asset size only tangible uh, as given. So we don't have to worry about other transaction. There will be no impact of uh, this other transaction in investing. Activity. And we will see cash flow from investing activity. So what is the total cash flow? Here we will write it down in negative. Why? Because there is a purchase. If there is a purchase, there will be cash outflow. So 5 lakh 80,000 minus 65,000 and that will be 5 lakh 15,000. 5 lakh 15,000. Now we will see financing activity here. Financing activity. Right? So if you see financing activity here. So from financing activity, which uh, from where we will get the transaction related to financing activity. So from share capital and from borrowings, we have already discussed. So if you see uh, 2011 balance is 6 lakh rupees, hopefully uh, it is visible to you all. It is 6 lakh, right? And new balance is 7 lakh. It means company has raised money from issuer share capital. So I will write it down here, share capital. And previous balance was how much? 6 lakh. Uh, sorry, yeah. previous balance was 6 lakh. New balance is how much? 7 lakh. So definitely there is an increase of 1 lakh rupees and we will write it down here, 1 lakh, right? After that, if you see there is change in borrowings also, previous borrowings were lakh and now new borrowing is 3 lakh. So there is increase in borrowing. So it means there will be increase in cash flow financing activity also. So you can write it down here, 3 lakh minus 
and you will get the balance that is one lakh rupees. This is balance one lakh rupees. Now further, if we see, so what cash we are generating? I was I was thinking that it will get adjusted in this format only. Right, I need to draw it again. So what is the cash from financing activity? So you will see cash flow from financing activity total is how much? It is two lakh. Cash flow from financing activity total is how much? It is two lakh. Now we will do the total of all the activities and we will see what uh, final balance we are getting here. So cash flow from all the activities, cash flow from all the activities. So we will do the total of all three activities with three lakh eight thousand minus five lakh fifteen thousand because it's negative balance. Then plus two lakh. So if I do the calculation here, so what result I will get? It is minus minus seven thousand. Yeah, balance which we are getting is negative seven thousand. It shows that these outflows are more than inflows, right? Because balance is negative here. Balance is negative. Now, the last step which we have to perform, I have already told you, we have to take opening balance of cash flows. We have to take opening balance of cash flows here, right? So I will add opening balance of cash flows. So you can see here opening balance of cash flow is how much? You can see. Uh, Cash flow and cash equivalent is given. So opening balance of cash flow is thirty five thousand here. This two thousand eleven uh, cash flow is going to be the opening balance. Okay? This two thousand eleven cash flow of uh, two thousand eleven cash flow is going to be the opening balance, and this is going to be the closing balance. Right. So let let assume we don't know the closing balance. Let assume we don't know the closing balance. So if I add opening balance here, so opening balance is thirty five thousand, right? And we will get the closing balance. So here opening balance is how much? It is Thirty-five thousand. It is thirty-five thousand. So, after doing the uh, sum of uh, sum of both the amounts, we will get the closing balance. So here, closing balance going to be thirty-five thousand minus seven thousand. So this is the closing balance. So here, closing balance amount is going to be twenty-eight thousand rupees, and this should match closing balance of two thousand twelve balance sheet, right? So here you can see. Here twenty eight thousand is the balance, and here also same balance is given uh, in balance sheet that is twenty eight thousand. So this is we prepare a uh, balance sheet, uh, sorry, cash flow statement, and this is how we can reconcile the cash statement. Right? This is how we can reconcile the cash flow statement. So in coming session we will be taking uh, more questions. Thank you.